Hey everyone, it's Geomap here, and today we are going to explore the geopolitics of South America. Let's start by Colombia. I've classified Colombia in the category leaning west. Indeed, Colombia has a close history with USA, where USA provided significant economic and military support to the 20th and 21st century in order to keep its influence on the country. USA used the war on drugs as a pretext to fight communist revolutionary during the Cold War and shape the political alignment of the country. More recently, Colombia became an official NATO partner in 2017, the first in Latin America, and renewed the partnership in 2021. Colombia also respects and complies with USA international sanctions. Indeed, they recently asked a license to be able to do business with Venezuela oil company PDVSA. USA also forbade the reopening of the Bogota Caracas airline with Conviasa, the Venezuelan state owned airline, due to US sanctions on this airline. But we can see that since the 2022 election of leftist Gustavo Petro, relations with Venezuela started again. This change of foreign political alignment could open the door to a more independent Colombia in the future, with maybe less influence from USA and the Western Bloc. Now, let's move a bit to the southwest and have a look at Ecuador. This one is more difficult to classify, as the picture is not as clear as Colombia. On the west side, the Congress of USA passed a bill in 2022 called the United States Ecuador Partnership Act. This bill authorizes and requires action to reinforce US Ecuador relationship. This bill should aim at strengthening economic ties between the two countries, increase the capacity of Ecuador justice system to fight crime and corruption, and strengthen the National Assembly of Ecuador, among other points. Furthermore, we can see that USA have recently shown willingness to increase its relationship with Ecuador as China expands its commercial influence on the country. Indeed, China is currently the second business partner of Ecuador, just behind USA. They even just concluded a new free trade agreement with the country. We then see the two major powers trying to increase their influence on the country and the Ecuadorian government trying to benefit from both sides. Nevertheless, we should not forget that China relationship is pragmatic and more related to mutual economic benefit, while US relationship aim at extracting a geopolitical influence out of the country through the various aspects of the previously mentioned deals that are not purely economic. Because of this, we can also classify Ecuador as a leaning west country. Let's now move to the northeast and have a look at Guyana. Guyana is quite easy to classify. I've put it on the leaning west block. It is belonging to the Commonwealth of Nations. Hence, he has common value and historic ties with United Kingdom from the Western Bloc. Guyana is also opposed to Venezuela unresolved claim toward its territory west of the Essequibo River. In the recent news, we can mention that British Petroleum recently got the commercialization right to the new discovered offshore oil field. To note that current oil consortium that operate offshore oil field are two USA companies and one Chinese company. Next to Guyana, there is Suriname. Suriname is the smallest country in South America by its size and population, with only 600,000 inhabitants. This country was difficult to classify as it doesn't get a lot of media coverage, hence I had to get further to get relevant information. We can note that the country defended the 2020 Hong Kong security law alongside 53 countries, which is not surprising as China owns 17% of its external public debt. We can also mention that they have a good relationship with China overall with their bilateral agreement. Even though Suriname has developed several partnerships with neighboring French Guiana, belonging to the Western Bloc, they still have the question of border within the Amazonia unresolved. We can thus classify Suriname in a leaning east bloc. It will be interesting to follow the evolution of the country in the following year to see if it keeps shifting east or remain neutral.
And this concludes for today. If we zoom out, we have now three South American countries in the Western Bloc, with Colombia, Ecuador and Guyana, and two countries in the Eastern Bloc with Suriname and Venezuela that was classified in my previous video. This video was the first of a three-part series where I aim to classify all countries of Latin America, so stay tuned for the next one to get the global picture. You can also have a look at my first video that is more general regarding the geopolitical landscape of the world in 2023. Please don't forget to like and subscribe if you enjoy the content. Thanks a lot and see you soon. Thank you.